joy yous what's going on and it's your girl cute queen here back with another video can y'all believe it's july we halfway through the year like time is crazy time is crazy 2024 has been a blur because of that i thought i'd come to you guys with all of the pickups that i actually grabbed for the year so far and could kind of assess where we at and once we get to the end of the year, we'll have a better idea of where we land in terms of, you know, where we might want to call what we might want to call our top pickups and, you know, just break it down from there. So it's a whole lot of year left, but we've done what we've done thus far again, action packed. But most importantly, when it comes to these pickups, very intentional. OK, we're not out here grabbing every single thing. We're getting the exact things that we wanted. And um, I think that's the best way to attack it. So I think I did pretty good. Y'all let me know. But first, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you're liking the content, hit that like button. And if you have any thoughts, comments, concerns, any feedback, hit that comment section. Cause me and my Royals, we talks about it all right we're gonna go ahead and get into these pickups again this is everything so far okay starting with the very first pickup which actually it was a gift it was a gift from an og in the game that i absolutely respect um and he thought of me and he sent these on over so first and foremost i want to give a shout out to the og ron g um, formerly known as Ron Gusaran, uh, who, who claims he's retired um, and was looking to clear out some things and is currently clearing out a couple things, but still acquiring things. But anyway, he thought of me as he was starting to clear out. And um, here we go. But yeah, here we have the Nike Dunk High. Michigan and what's cool about this is um I already have this shoe um however I do have the men's version of it this is the woman's cut um I want to say from 2016 actually the tag says that and also this is a sample okay so this was never sold in retail this particular um pair he sent me a sample that's crazy again I have the shoe already but he thought of me obviously I'm a big Michigan head because I'm from Michigan but also I'm an alumni of Michigan and um, I'm a Wolverine and I represent so you know who else would he have thought of who else would he have thought of it's all me man I do this but yeah thanks again OG Ron G and again uh, the Nike Dunk High women's cut Michigan all right next up is um it's actually a pair that I saw releasing um on one of the sneaker blocks and I was like you know what that actually looks clean it was a part of a pack and it's actually a a, a pack that has continuity um and I'll just show it to y'all so that this this doesn't become too long of a video anyway put yeah here you have the New Balance 990 Macadamian. Um, and this is actually what's called the uh, Made in USA. It's a part of the Made in USA pack. And um, it also, there was another, I wanna say it was like a blue grayish colorway as well, which that was the one that sold out. This one was a lot easier to grab. It happened to be the one out of the two that I wanted the most, so. Hey, I'm happy to have it. It is the first New Balance that I purchased in a very long time. It took me a while to, to, to really bite the bullet and be like, hey, that's something I really, really want. Um, I, I get it, like the dad shoe runner um, designs right now is, uh, is a trend. New Balance is something that when I was in high school, we, it, there was the, that was the last wave I remember. Um, and of course, everything comes in waves, every single thing. Hey, New Balance, you're doing your thing, baby. You're doing your thing. This next one actually made me feel normal and regular, and I was excited 
to be excited about a sneaker that everybody else was excited about because that doesn't happen a lot for me. Those that have been following me long enough understand what I'm saying. Those of you who are new to the channel, you've probably seen me show like early looks and things that are recent and a lot of people are looking at, but as far as what I actually purchase, not a whole lot of things I purchase that um, are considered hype, so to speak, but this one right here, I got out into the streets like everybody else because it turned out this thing caused a little bit of a stir, okay? But it was exciting nonetheless. Put yeah! <laughs> the Air Jordan 4 reimagined, okay? So I didn't already, I didn't did countless videos about this shoe, just like every other content creator. And um, I talked about the my preference for the leather ver <laughs> the leather version of this shoe. And um, I'm happy to have this. I would have had preferred a, um, a orange tag, but can't have it all. It's not like it's the OG, so hey. And yes, I still haven't worn it. That's not necessarily intentional. Um, I do plan to wear this multiple times this year. Um, I actually I had planned to wear it already, but you know things happen. You see all of this behind me. You expect me to make a commitment to what I'm gonna wear? Y'all got this game messed up. <laughs> so next up is actually a shoe that um, I talked about more recently. I talked about how often I've been wearing it since I've had it. So speaking of wearing there has been uh, no quarrels about wearing this particular one right here because this one was a definite summer uh, rotation pair right here. But yeah! <laughs> Nike Vomero 5 designed by Japan. So this is one of them ones, baby. This is one of them ones, baby. I definitely did, well, I can't call it damage. I've definitely put this in my rotation and in fact so much so in preparation for this video I didn't have to actually grab them out of a box because guess what they were already out of the box because I've been wearing them they, they've been sitting on the floor outside of the box ready to be worn again you know just saying but I absolutely love this shoe um it's gonna be hard to beat at the end of the year man keep this shoe in mind when we get closer to the end of the year Will this make my number one pickup for 2024? We still got a few months to find out. Still got a few months to cop more and, uh, you know, do a little bit more damage on the pickups. So we'll see, but it's up there for sure. All right, this next one right here, um, I actually, I've been talking about this silhouette uh, before it even launched um, over a year ago. We're going to go ahead and get into it. But yeah! Nike Ja One Chinese New Year or Year of the Dragon. This is a colorway that I absolutely was excited about once I found out it was going to release in a Chinese New Year colorway. Um, it's definitely going to be at least one wear this summer. I got to at least wear this shoe once this summer. Um, when I bought it, I automatically thought about summer actually. So super happy to have it. Um, it is one of multiple colorways I love in this silhouette. Unfortunately, uh, Ja didn't necessarily get to uh, play in these as much as I would have liked to seen, but I still love the silhouette. He is arguably one of my favorite players. And, um, Happy to have this thing. Happy to have this thing. Okay, so this next one is actually a pleasant surprise for me. I don't know that I knew this shoe was releasing weeks or months ahead of time before it actually dropped, but once I saw pictures of it and once I saw it in hand, it was a go for me. Um, and it actually was not easy to get. So, Pacquiao! Nike Air Max 1. Jackie Robinson. Man, this shoe right here with that midnight navy with the gold hits on it. And come on, come on, come on, come on. Just love it. With that gum bottom, <sighs> I tell you, I tell you. This one right here, like I said, 
pleasant surprise. I didn't go into the year knowing this was gonna be one of them ones. But uh, yeah, pictures and then seeing them in hand before I bought them, yeah, sold, super sold. Okay, this next one um, was a must have. It was a very disrespectful pre-release. Um, by now you can guess. Put Kike, yeah! oh, the Nike DT Max 96, AKA them prime times. Dim diamond turf things, man. Straight up nostalgia. No, nothing else describes the feeling that I got knowing these were coming out and my enthusiasm to get them. Straight up nostalgia, that's it. Nothing else, nothing more. Um, of course, I've, I've talked about the shoe on multiple occasions as it relates to the design, the build, all of the things, the, the, the logos and the picture on the outsole, all of the things. So yeah, it's all nostalgia. And um, my childhood just, just whooshes over me, okay, as I hold this shoe. So <laughs> happy to have it, man. All right, so this next one is actually the last one, okay? So I'm super happy I didn't go too crazy this year because this video would have been even harder for me to get in front of this camera, have the energy to make, all right? So what we got next up, what we got next up, and last up, Pukaya! We have the Nike Book One Haven. <laughs> And this one right here, um, along with some of these other ones, I made it clear. I was very excited about being able to grab. Um, first off, being able to touch before I even got a chance to buy them. Um, and just some things just give you your confirmation. Like you can look at all the pictures you want, but sometimes that confirmation is when it's in your hand. And this was one of the ones I told y'all on my review vid. Like this was one I was curious about because I thought it looked pretty dope on the pictures. And I had been looking for a book one I want, I, that I was willing to bite the bullet on. And um, this the one, man, this the one. This thing is super clean, super functional. And um, I'm happy to have it. I'm, I'm, this is one of my proud is one of my proud pickups for sure all of them are but yeah 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 this and this one of the ones too that deserves a bunch of wares because it will hold up for sure all right let me hear it let me hear it how did i do i'm happy i'm proud there's literally nothing i showed you that's a regret for me thus far um as you can see again it's not a ton i showed you eight pairs one of them i did not purchase so seven pairs I purchased and we're in our seventh month of the year. So I think I did pretty good. You know, on average, that's that's one pair a month thus far. You know, I did good and it was intentional. All of these are ones that I wanted. It wasn't impulsive, none of that. So I'm proud. What are y'all most proud about this year so far in terms of y'all pickups? Do you feel like you was a little impulsive? Do you feel like maybe you uh, slept on a couple of things? that you probably should have jumped on, um, that now you may not spend a block and circle back on it. Um, maybe you just, you know, you're taking it slow all year just in general, and that's been your intention. You know, we, we have both sides of the coin. I got people that I know that buy every single thing. I got people that I know that are like me, buying per, um, buying with a plan, I guess you can say. Um, and then we got the folks right in between, right in between. These are all of my pickups of 2024 so far. I'm super interested and excited to see where we land at the end of the year. Like I said, considering what I, what I think will be my top pickup based off of what I just showed y'all, that is my mo that's my biggest curiosity. Will at the end of 2024, will it be that same shoe? It's just so fire but I can't wear it all year round. So getting my spins in, just saying. But anyway, it's been another one from your girl, Q to Queen. Hit that comment section. And again, please hit that like button. Helps your girl out with the algorithms, okay? And uh, until next time, royalty. <laughs>